Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toni Brienne, and my channel is all about beauty, fashion, and discovery. And if you guys want to see more content from me, please go ahead and click the subscribe button right now down below. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the dark history of Nickelodeon, in particular with Dan Schneider, the producer of many hit television series on Nickelodeon. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Dan Schneider, also known as Daniel James Schneider, was born to his parents, Harry and Carol Schneider, in 1966. His hometown is Memphis, Tennessee, and he later went to the Ivy League, Harvard University. After attending Harvard University, Dan appeared in several 80s and 90s movies and TV shows, mostly starring as supporting roles. But later on in his life, he devoted time to do more behind the scenes work, which led him to become a very well-known producer in TV. He then married Lisa Lillian in 2002, who is an American entrepreneur who is most known for being a food blogger and being a New York Times bestselling author. After Dan's devoted time and in work into being a producer, he later produced hit shows such as iCarly, Drake and Josh, The Amanda Show, All That, and Victorious. And that's just to name a few. However, Nick suffered ties with this hit making producer and screenwriter in 2018. And lots of people wonder why they severed ties with someone that was so influential for their platform. And that goes into the widespread allegations on Dan Schneider and his work on Nickelodeon. So let's just get straight into this. In 2011, the hacktivist group Anonymous said that they were at war with Dan Schneider because they had reason to believe he was apparently sexually abusing some of the child actors on sets of Nickelodeon. So there are a few reasons that Anonymous stated why they believe these things and some things that we also have seen on television ourselves. So the number one reason is Dan's weird foot fetish. So in many episodes of shows like iCarly and Victorious, there are many weird foot scenes. And I know I recently started rewatching Victorious on Nickelodeon, I'm um, not Nickelodeon, on Netflix, um, because they just put the series back on maybe about a year ago. And I was very weirded out with the amount of foot scenes that there were. And I was like, why are there so many like feet stuff? Like the show, they were very interested in feet in. It was just very weird. So Dan allegedly had a foot fetish, which there's nothing wrong with that if that's your thing. But it does kind of cross the line, not even kind of, it does cross the line when it comes to children in using a form of artwork that they're in love with acting and that you're in love with producing to kind of get off on that fetish. It's odd. So for example, in 2013, the account for Sam and Cat, which was a show that Dan also produced, sent out a tweet asking fans of the show, mostly children, to submit foot pictures. The second reason Anonymous was out to attack Dan was because they believe that he overtly, overly sexualized young women on his shows. So on many of these episodes, he wrote a lot of weird and very inappropriate situations for the child actors in the show. In particular, on the show Victorious, there are a lot of scenes that are a little bit much for actors playing as high school students. For example, Tori was made as a sandwich in this clip. There's another inappropriate clip from a behind the scenes segment on the hit show, The Amanda Show, where star Amanda Bynes was in the hot tub with Dan Schneider. Take a look at this clip. No, um, Amanda Bynes did go on a very public breakdown claiming that her father, I'm not trying to say the word, but she was in very inappropriate situations with her father. However, she later stated that that was false and people were and still are wondering if it wasn't in fact her biological father, but someone that she looked up to as a father, aka Dan Schneider. And number three, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is by far probably the biggest breakout star from Nickelodeon. Her role that she played on Victorious as Cat Valentine 
was very weird. When Kat first came on the show, she was originally played and still was played through the series as the dumb girl. However, as the series went on, she went from being the dumb girl to being very baby-like and being put in very weird situations. Many viewers believe that Kat was overly sexualized in a lot of the scenes that she played in. Also, a lot of the segments that she did where she would kind of be talking to the screen as if she was doing a video chat type based content, looked as if she was performing as a cam girl, playing as a young child for people that are into that stuff. Take a look at these very, very strange and odd clips. So now, just for fun, I'm gonna say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See, that could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. Because if you were soaking wet and you were upset about it, the last thing you'd want is for somebody to bring you the ocean. Because the ocean is even more wet than even the wettest person in the world. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? I'm thirsty! It's not possible! <laughs> this has been me in a video! Come on! Give up the juice! So that is just a summary of the allegations that are against Dan Schneider and what he did to children. And at least Anonymous's gather up evidence of why they believe that he was harming children. The sexualization and abuse of children is an industry-wide problem. Many breakout child and teen stars went into a aspiring life filled with drugs, sex, alcohol, and violence, such as Amanda Bynes, Miley Cyrus, Bella Thorne, Orlando Bloom, Lindsay Lohan, the Olsen twins, and so many more. For instance, Bella Thorne came out on Instagram saying that she was in inappropriate situations from the ages of 6 to 14 while she was an actor on Disney. And she said no one knew or seemed to care about her well-being while she was working. So that's just one of many, many stories that I'm sure that are out there and I hope one day that these actors are able to come out and share their stories so that they can get the justice that they deserve but this is definitely a scary situation and I just want to say protect children in Hollywood and please please remove pedophiles. So I would like to know what you guys think in the comments. Please let me know your opinions on this situation. What are some other stories that you've heard? I want to know. Let's get a discussion going in the comments so we could further analyze the situation. So if you guys like this video don't forget to like Comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.